All right, we out here looking for some post spawn catfish. We're on Lake Norman. I'm gonna cover my Mad Cats Panthers, medium action. We're anchored up on a ledge here. I was gonna attempt to maybe do some drifting, but my trolling motor mount broke. So I got some stuff trying to glue it together. It's curing right now. So we're down to anchoring tonight. It's about 2.30 in the morning. I'm not there going out in Norman right now during the day. All right, so I got some cut shad, fresh cut. They were just alive. I'm field testing this new bait tank I made. Big old cooler from Academy. Working out the kinks on it. So far, I've had shad in here almost 12 hours, and they have not died yet. All right. So we are anchored up on a ledge here, right next to a shallow flat. So right here is shallow flat, right here is the ledge going deep. I'm gonna get teens to 20s feet get different depths tons of bait and marks so we're rolling Carol five Carolinas and five Santee rigs I'll drop one of these in the water different presentation Let's see what we get If I fish any deeper water, I'll run some suspended rods. That's real good to do during the summer. Get fresh cut shad. Three ounce disc weights. Ten knot catfish sumo offset circle hooks. And this has got a three inch combo bobber on it with a little rattle. And when I do drag, PC Fun Chaos 60 reels. The 40 pound Berkeley game orange in it. Alright, so we're going to get us a 10 rod spread right here. And if we start getting activity on one side more, we'll adjust. Hopefully we're gonna get on something. The moon's almost full looking. And I have not had a good trip since April. I need, need to get on something. Hopefully they're hungry for Shad, because that's all I got at the moment. I got some worms and a bait rod. I'm gonna try to get a bait lot out in the front of my boat. I'm hearing stuff splashing already. Hopefully, we'll snag us some perch. And if we get any big alewives, I'll throw the cast net on them. Because they've been running shallows here on Norman at night. We'll stay until the a.m. Maybe 10, depending on the bot. And boat traffic. But, we go ahead and uh, get the rest of these rods casted out. And hopefully they'll start going down. Well, we hooked up on something. On my bait rod, no less. This ain't no white perch. It's either a cat or a hybrid. It'd be funny if it's a cat. Got 10 rods out with shad. It's jerking like a blue cat. It might be. This is 10 pound test. Cat, all right. 
it. Channel cat. That was fun on that lot gear. Easy fella. Put that up for just a little Aberdeen. Just had a Little big red worm on there. They go fit me. Easy fella. About three pounds. She's not picking all over me. Well, skunk's out at least. I've been here about 20 minutes. And I just had this little red worm spin around on the boat. I got mayflies and everything all over me. A lot of bait popping under my lot. These shad rods haven't budged. All right, we'll give it to 3.30 here. Nothing hooked up, we'll find us another spot. Finally, we got some frag peeling on this one. Sitting here playing a perch. Looks like we got deeper side on the ledge. This is a little piece of gizzard shed. Pretty solid fish. Looks like he's wrapped. We're already at the surface. If he gets unwrapped, he's probably gonna go crazy. Looks like we got a fat blue. Yep, yeah, there he goes. He's unwrapped. Gotcha. Yep. Nice tainer. Pretty fish. Oh, that's so. Deeper ledge right here next to a muscle flat. channel Ooh. I had that thing shallow yeah yeah more bait it's a good size perch just a little red worm with a split shot I guess we'll hang out here for a bit. Bait up and I'll probably get some more rods out that way. Right, let's see what this guy weighs. All right. Nice post spawn blue here. 
think she's a female. She ain't beat up or nothing. Nice, pretty clean fish. 15 pounds, three ounces, 32 inches long. Got the perch rod going again. So, I think I might try the 20s, 30s here next anchor. Because we'll be getting into daylight soon. Oh man. Nice school perch right here. Be able to bait up good. Trip. All right, we got one tugging. Yep. Fish on. Sun's up. We on a 20 foot flat. Ain't been here too long. Had this one cast it out in Santee, I do believe. Nothing big. We'll take him. That's a pot belly blue. You can tell they've been sucking on these muscle beds. Got something on the perch rod. Oh, you swallowed the hook. Looks like our next bait, because he swallowed the heck out of that hook. All right, so another blue on this slow day. Nice pot belly, 11 pounder. Perch have been biting real good, and they've just been everywhere. Nice piece of shed, just out there. Shed on Santee. Now well, we probably got a few hours left before we get something bearable out here. Give it another bit here. Fish just seems scattered. But both fish, I think, have been 20 feet. Right by these islands, it's got a lot of muscles. Oh man, the sun is beaming on me. Alright, so. Vip. With it being morning, sun blasting already. I'm gonna try a little deeper. I'm out here next to a hump. It goes real shallow, I'm next to it. But this is 30 feet deep around it. And there's a good bit of bait balls and a ton of big marks. So I'm gonna suspend two rods and get a nice spread here. Yeah, it's, figure as the day goes on, they're just gonna get deeper. Still nothing's hit perch. Oh 
we got a few hours left here. And three cats in the boats, not good at all. But in my opinion, this is the worst time for catfish. At least it is for me. I'd rather do winter. Cats are just so scattered. Super hot. Thunderstorms out of nowhere. Boat traffic during the day is unbearable. Catfish are just so scattered, hardly no patterns. But we're still going to give it a go. Dang, there's a bunch of something on me. Looks like more perch. Perch, on the other hand, have been on fire. Pretty much every spot I fish, I've caught perch. Shallow, deep, medium, pretty much from 10 foot to 30 foot. If I brought my sabiki rods, rigs, I would have hammered them. But right now it's kind of hard to keep a bunch of my bait tank where I got it out in the carport. Where it gets hot, they're not lasting long. All right, let's uh, get this spread out. And hopefully, we'll get on a few more cats before we have to leave. All right, we just had a massive takedown. I hope he's still on there. Yeah, he's still on there. Feels pretty decent. We're still out here on a 30 flat. There's rods and stuff. That way. Santee. Blue. Ooh. Not hooked good at all. What's your mind? Nothing big, but we'll take it. Right, GoPro died on me. Right here we got a nice 12 pounder. That's the third blue of the day. First one off a of white perch. Probably around 30 feet deep. Hopefully this uh, bait tank ain't getting in the audio. It is roaring. So we'll get us another piece of perch out there. Ain't been here terribly long. I guess I got a lot of marks here. This guy that died from swallowing the hook. There, nice little white perch fillet. So that's two on Santee. 
Not the channel cat, that'll be suspended. We haven't got nothing on suspended cat baits yet there. We'll give it another 20 minutes or so here. There's no other activity. We'll find us another spot. Maybe even deeper. Some of the deeper waters I've drove is a ghost town. Pretty much to the whole water column. I haven't noticed a thermocline yet. All right, let's uh give it another twenty here, and hopefully something else will hook up. All right, we got us another one right. Well, we caught that one. Oh, he's got some shoulders. I might need to cast my rods this way. Just come up the boat quick. I'll probably cast this spinning rod out that way. Definitely a blue. Not a bad one. Santee again. Woo! He said nope. Make sure you don't get in that suspended line. Come on back up here. Easy, knock yourself out. We we'll knock the hook out. Yeah, it looks like it's a good hook. Oh, you slam my hand into the boat. You feisty fella. There's some good pliers, I just hate that this water got there in the suitcase and it's barely open. Got them from Academy Sports. <clears throat> Not a bad one. Another teen, I'd say. Nice, feisty teenager. 15 pounds even. Pretty fish. Now, these fish ain't really been that Scarred and beat up for it being post spawn. Ooh, you've hit the boat several times. So that was white perch again. So I got this piece. These are some good shears I got from Academy too in the like barbecue section. Outdoor gourmet. Real sturdy. So I think I'll cast more rods over in this direction. This is a good takedown. This seems to be the spot. It's three here. Feels like another teen tween, but still, we'll take them. Hopefully he's above it. Yeah. Okay, let's see if I can get you. No, over that one. Yep. Another good one. Oof, that guy, he got something in his mouth, some kind of 
jig. Hey, fella. You snapped someone off. Yeah, let's get you. Get that out of you. Got your line in there, too. Oh man, you got all your gills and everything. That good. Good grief, you slam that. You must have been hungry. Mm. Ah, oh god, I broke that with Jake. It's back still in your mouth. Good grief. There you go. There you go. Think it's all out. Get my hook out now. There you are. Pretty sure. Pretty sure that was Shad. Shad Carolina rig. And he had some kind of some kind of jig lure. Very light pound test. Looks like it snapped them off. Piece out of here. It's kind of, yeah. it's kind of messed up his mouth though. Well, at least he got it out. We'll get you. We'll get you good side for the pitcher. So 17 pounds, five ounces. That's the biggest of the day so far. Had some kind of jig in his mouth. Glad I got that line out of your gills. Easy. Gonna take the grips out of my hand. All right. I know someone was upset. It's my getting my nerves in the back. Try to get the mic away from my mouth so you don't hear my breathing. All right. So that was Shad on Carolina rig. So we'll throw another piece out there. Yeah, this 30's flat seems to be the trick. So I see the bait fish clouds, a lot of marks. So a slow trip might turn into a better trip. Bad thing is it's almost eight o'clock. Surprisingly, I ain't seen too many boats yet. But it's only going to pick up here within the hours. Well, we'll just hold out here on this 30 foot flat until it dies down. All right. I think we're in our last anchor of the day. We already got people jet skiing, water skiing. It's still only 8 a.m. So I'm right here. On a ledge. I've marked a ton of fish. It's near the flat, but it's a ledge that goes down from 20s into 30s and then deeper. And I'm already getting beat up by wakes. We're gonna get a nice spread here. Probably give it about an hour. That'll be it for today.
So hopefully we'll get a lot more fish in. Now if they just keep biting, I'll just fight through it. We got all kinds of stuff splashing around here. Yeah, it's like a ledge going down deep. I'm at the shallow part, so it just goes down. And there was fish all over it. Then this goes way down. This leads into the main channel. It's like 90 feet deep at the deepest. Yeah, I'm getting hit from all sides now. Probably cast some, not quite as far out. It's 22 feet below me, and it's kind of a gradual slope. I think is it? Oh God! Are you serious? Let's put that in something's mouth. I hope he didn't spit it out. I think he did. I wasn't expecting that. Yeah, I'd dag him. Yeah, he, he smashed that shaft. Good grief. Wasn't expecting that at all. If it wasn't a double hooked itself, I would have had him probably. So yeah, they're here. Just another. Shed. Ouch. Dag um new bait tanks worked out good. Except I need a filter to go around the bilge pump. And I'm gonna have to clean that spray bar out somehow. This dirty shed have clogged it all up. Man, I hate that I missed that. Well, hopefully he's still in the area. Cause I don't think he he dropped it. Before he felt me pulling on it. Good grief. That's a big old sunfish. Drag pill and everything. Yeah, he out, he out here deep. That yeah, looks like easy. Looks like he had a hook in him. Ow! That big old scar right there. Well, I'll let you go. They are resilient. All right. Yeah, it's been having a piece of red worm suspended under the boat. Good bit of white perch on it. Well, hopefully we'll get another catfish or two before we go. Well, we'll go ahead and call it. It's 9.40 in the morning now, so I need to get in bed. It's just gonna get hotter and more boat traffic out here. But, not a bad trip, but not a great trip. It's been better than all my other ones here recently. 
six cats in the boat nothing too big but you know it's still not the best time of the year some are still on spawn the cats are scattered but uh we'll go ahead and sign off here and if it don't storm tonight i'll get back at it tonight well if you made it this far i want to thank you for watching and be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and you can also check me out on these other platforms right here listed on the picture.